everyone, my name is Jack Gleason, and I'm going to be going over my best six setups to trade Nadex. Uh, for those of you who have never traded Nadex but are familiar with trading either normal options or have ever dabbled in the futures market, I definitely recommend you stick around and check out this presentation because I got a setup uh, that you guys should be adding to your toolbox. Uh, first, I'm going to start this off actually with a little bit of interaction. I'm going to ask you guys to answer this question, and the person that it comes closest to the answer I'm looking for, uh, I'm going to be giving away a hat to. So we got these cool Major League Trading hats. I happen to think I got the best logo uh, out there in the trading industry. You know, that's up to perception. But uh, first off, I'm just going to start off with that question. So at the, at the end of December, I had discovered uh, Nadex, or I had discovered Nadex in 2015, so I decided to take a little bit of an experiment and see how quickly I could scale a small account into a large account. And I started with $250. Um, <laughs> trader, trader, if you've already seen this presentation, please don't uh, go ahead and guess this, but if throw some guesses out. In, it was in a 13-day span going into the end of December. How much you guys think I turned $250 into? So just go ahead out there with the with the guesses. <laughs> all all over the place. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. There is one person who got it right so far. But yeah, I see I see guesses all the way from uh, five thousand to twenty five thousand. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are all really good. Those are all really good. I mean, any of those, you know, anybody would be happy with, whether it's uh, 5000 or 25000 I mean, I think we'd all be happy with starting with $250. But I really wasn't even sure of um, this product, uh, but I discovered it, and I decided to try it out, and these were my results. Uh, first off, I'd like to just risk disclaimer. Uh, trading involves substantial substantial. Uh, risk, uh, you can lose money trading, you can make money trading, you need to be aware of this, obviously, I'll give you guys some time to read this, just have to go over it um, and whatnot. So, uh, CFTC Rule 4.41. Um, but anyways, guys, my name is Jack Gleason. Uh, for those of you who ever heard of Thinkorswim, this is the founder of Thinkorswim, uh, Tom Sosnoff. That's me. I actually did a TV show with him or on Tasty Trade. Uh, for anybody who's ever heard of that, they could probably have one of the internet's largest audiences. Uh, this is me at my prop desk at a friend visit uh, where I where I uh, used to trade out of. Um, but just a little bit of background about me. I bought my first stock when I was 15 years old. Um, I learned my first trading lesson at 18 when I was able to open up my own options account. I put about $1,000 into it. I turned that $1,000 into five grand and then proceeded to lose it all over the following month. But obviously, uh, for most of you guys who've been trading for a while, once you experience that kind of quick success, you're kind of hooked. Call it beginner's luck. It definitely was. But at that point in time, it, you know, I really decided that, hey, trading is what I want to do and I'm going to spend the rest of uh, my life trying, you know, trying to master the art of trading as well as, you know, become a professional trader. At the age of 20 years old, I was actually able to study under a hedge fund manager. Uh, now, I, I'm from the Chicago area, so there's a lot of um, opportunity to get in touch with some of these people. It probably took me about 250 emails to finally get someone to let me uh, study under them. And uh, so I was able to do that. Got my first job at a prop firm at 22. Uh, first education class I've ever did was with Tom Sosnoff. Um, if any of you guys, like I said, he's the founder of Thinkorswim uh, and uh, Tasty Trade. And uh, I discovered the power of binary options in 2015. And I'm going to be going over that in this presentation because it has been the most exciting thing I've involved in my trading in the last like four years. So uh, I did end up taking $250 into $16,000 in 13 days. And then I uh, decided to take a vacation. Um, and that was a nice way to start off 2016. So this is me, and these are the hats we got. So uh, the gentleman who would get us 16 grand, you're gonna go ahead and or ship you out one of these. Uh, just uh, I'll uh, put our support email in here later. You can shoot me an email. Um, go to the next slide. But yeah, this is just a chart. I wanted to show you guys to visually reference this. I actually recorded all of the trades. Um, so they're all documented, and I recorded every single one, talked about the setup I was taking, showed the position, uh, the gain and loss, etc. So uh, we'll get you those videos as well. Um, but you can just see, like, I 
to be honest, my original, my initial goal with this was just to turn $250 into 2000 and I ended up uh, just kind of running with it into the end of the year, uh, into literally my last trade was on the 29th, and then I uh, went on vacation. Um, but uh, so what I'm about to teach you guys, for those of you who've never heard of binary options, is binary options, how binary options work, and the one trade setup, I didn't actually use it this morning because we didn't trade this morning, but the one trade setup I use in the morning, it's a trade setup that I determine in the first 45 minutes of the day whether it's going to trigger or not. And uh, how, how that setup, it, for those of you who have limited time, uh, when maybe you have a day job or you know maybe you just don't trade the markets all the day, that setup is literally you just the first 45 minutes is going to tell you whether it's going to sit setup or not. So that's why personally it's my favorite setup because it's so clearly defined in terms of when I want to enter uh, the trade. Um, so we'll be going over that here. So make sure to have your notepads ready. Um, so binary options for me, uh, I'm a technical analyst trader uh, and they are the perfect product. Now I've traded normal options before. I've had both six figure wins and gains in a single day, um, you know, which, which can definitely hurt. I don't mess around with options as much as I used to because what I've found with traditional options, for me at least, they take up a lot of commitment. Uh, I, like, I like to call it position commitment where when you get in the trade, you're really committed to the position. They're not as easy to uh, trade in and out of as futures, which is my go-to product, or even binary options. So binary options have been the best product I've found in the last four years for my trading portfolio. I like to say, I like to call what I did the reverse blowout. Um, you know, I know plenty of people, myself included, when I first started trading, you take a you take a large account and you you turn it into a small one. This is really one of the few products you can take a small account and turn it into a large one, just because of the way the product is structured uh, and the ability to you know really double your money almost every day as long as you're trading correctly. Of course, you can lose your money, but with proper training you know, position management as well as some g a good trend in the market like we've had recently, the run up, it's uh, fairly fairly easy for me. Uh, so this is how binary Nadex options work. On the right side is the order ticket. It's actually fairly simple. Um, one of the things when I first started trading Nadex I had to get used to was exactly how to place an order in Nadex. But what you do, and I'm going to go to the top right hand of my corner here, uh, you pick a strike price, 1947. So this this was when the market was trading a few weeks ago, 1947, and all you're betting in this Nate op in, in this option is will the S&P, and we use a futures contract, so the forward slash ES, will it be above 1947 at the given time frame or will it be below? And in this specific, you have the offer and the bid, and the offers and bid work just like any other market. You buy on the offer, you sell on the bid, and it is up to the trader's discretion to make the decision of whether it'll be above or below that strike price. So Nadex binary options are a limited risk contracts based on a simple yes or no market proposition like will markets go up by the end of the week. Not will they go up by 10 points like a normal options contract would be, but literally just will they go up or down. It's kind of like betting red or black, but for the market, uh, which I kind of like because I have, uh, you know, I've been trading for a long time and I really feel like I have the ability to um, to, to point out resistance and support levels. Now, as traders, we don't always know how far uh, you know, the market will trade off our support level, but we know it's there and we know it's going to stick around for at least you know, maybe a few hours, maybe it's a day or so. How far it rallies is not as concerning as me, which is really why I love Nadex binary options. Uh, with traditional options, I'm trying to time the exit, figure out what strike price I want to buy, whether you know, I think the S&P is going to move 40 points or if I only think it's going to move four. With Nadex binary options, to get 100% return on my money, I just need a very small move above the strike price I had chosen to actually uh, get a 100% gain. So removing the exit out of the equation is really what helped me do what I did. Um, binary options offer traders a way to trade the most active stock indices, commodities, Forex, and they even have event-based trading, so non-farm payroll, FOMC, et cetera. Uh, they're, they're not going to be on stocks with Nadex, um, but they are on the Russell, the Dow, the NASDAQ, gold, oil, and all of the big uh, futures markets. Uh, they're cash-settled contracts with an all-or-nothing payout left at expiration. So 
Um, you know, there's no pattern day trading rule that you would be subject to if you were uh, trading traditional options. You, the, the market is instantly cash settled the same day, and then you can take you know multiple trades within the same day. You don't have uh, the regulatory rules of T plus three or T plus one, which is time of uh, trade plus one day, which is a traditional settlement rule for options. Um, if the condition of the contract is achieved, the settlement value is 100. So if, if I paid, so in this specific instance, I was, um, say you were expecting the market to trade above 1947, the offer would have been $60. Now that probably means that we were trading maybe 1948. We're actually probably already trading above this strike price when this, you can see the, the indicative, uh, indicative index was trading 1948.30 and the offer was 60. So you can see the offer is going to be a little higher when you're trading above the strike price. However, say if we were trading below 1947, 1946 level, that offer is going to be towards uh, 48 to 47. So you're risking one to make one. Anytime you're above the strike price, obviously the odds are already in your favor that we're going to end up expiring above that level. So you're going to end up paying a little more on the offer, but simple enough. Uh, if you were to um, bet that we were going to trade below 1947 at the given expiration time, you would be selling on the bid and that would be a $54 debit from your account or credit to your account. Um, so it is also possible to close a contract prior to expiration to either take profits or cut losses. So it's not like uh, you know you get in the trade and you're locked in. You can manage it like any other position, which is which is great because you don't want to be locked in a position. You still want to be able to trade around that. I normally do this presentation now, so I'm gonna have to skip through some stuff. Um, so why Nadex? Here are a few benefits of trading night Nadex binary options. Once again, guys, limited risk. The maximum amount uh, you can lose on a trade is obviously your original investment. If you're a futures trader or an options trader and you're selling premium or even trading leveraged futures products, there is also always a possibility that you actually lose more than your initial investment, even if you're shorting stocks on margin. We, uh, some of you might have heard about KBIO when that stock went parabolic in the after hours and that one gentleman had lost over 100 grand on a $20,000 short position. Uh, you know, you're not going to have to worry about that in Nadex. Low collateral required. Binary contracts are priced between zero and 100, and they're short-term contracts. So what I like about the short-term contract thing is when you're trading traditional options, you really have just a few, just a few options in terms of when you want the contract to expire. I can trade the monthlies, I can trade the weeklies, and that's about it. Binary contracts in, in Nadex are going to give me contracts um, that are 20 minutes out, an hour out, two hours out at the end of the day and at the end of the week. So I can actually frame my trade based around the time I think necessary for the exact um, trade I'm moving into. So if it's a support, I think can hold for an hour, but I'm not sure if it holds for two days, I place the trade just like that. Uh, my favorite part about binary options um, it is really you know what your profit or loss is going to be based on where the price is. And to me, price is king. I focus on price all the time and really I'm a technical trader. And the problem I always found with trading traditional options is I would get in a position and the market would move my direction, but I wouldn't necessarily make money. I was either holding on to the position too long or it was coming back close to my entry, but not through it. And obviously with premium decay, that is not gonna allow you to profit. With binary options, the option contract can actually move in my direction, and as long as it's above my strike price, whether that's literally uh, one tick or you know 20 points, it doesn't matter. The payout is the same. So just focusing on my entry and really takes a lot of the emotion out of trading. For those of you who have traded uh, options before, I know, and I'm sure you know how emotional traditional options trading can be because you're really attached to the position and the exit of traditional options is actually extremely crucial from my experience in terms of profit being uh, your maximum potential from the options trade. I mean, how many times have you been in a winner? You're like, oh, I should have held on to that. Would have got more money. And other times you're, should have cut that loser before this. I know exactly the level, my max profit, my max loss uh, is is always going to be the same on entry because you can't make more than $100 per contract. So you can always trade multiple contracts. Uh, and binary options are the best product for price action traders. I'm a price action trader. All right, I'm not a, I'm not a premium seller. I you know, I don't have an extended knowledge of the correlations of delta, gamma, theta, 
uh, fixed volatility versus historical volatility, and I don't really want to be calculating that when I'm just trying to buy support and sell resistance. Um, just so you guys know the commissioning cost structure, trading fees, one to 10 lots, or it's capped at $9. So 90 cents per lot up to 10, and so like traditional options, I mean, I've been, I've been booked with, you know, $200 charge on trading options if I'm trading like a huge position. Uh, you know, you're capped at $9. So it, from a cost perspective, it's actually fairly cheap to trade uh, because the commissions are only about $9 capped. Now, if you're trading a one lot, that's going to be $0.90, cents, two lot, $1.80, et cetera. Anything over 10 stays at 9 bucks. Um, on the expiration, the settlement fees, same thing. The settlement fees are equal to the commissions. Uh, so once again, that's going to be $9. The expiration times are given in Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the spreads on a standard options contract, they're 50 to 200 contracts deep. So at 200 contracts deep, that's about a $10,000 position. So you don't run into any liquidity issues until you're taking positions above $10,000, which is a pretty big position. So, I mean, if some of you guys are swinging 50, $100,000 in options positions, then, you know, it's definitely hard to get filled, but as long as you're swinging under $10,000 per position, and I mean, that's $10,000 of risk per day. Um, so obviously you can spread it out if I wanted to buy 200 of the Dow, 200 of the NASDAQ, 200 of the Russell, and 200 of the ES, I could spread $40,000 across those markets, expecting the market to be above and positive at the end of the day uh, with no problem. So I wouldn't imagine that the liquidity would ever be an issue for any of you guys. Uh, so no, also no HFT. I mean, I've personally traded prop and I've been front run and I've seen uh, things move against me, including options. When I've placed orders, the market's hit and moved. You know, there's because of the way it's structured, there's nobody jumping in front of my order, moving the price up against me. There's stagnant markets run by market makers and it's really kind of old school in that sense, which is kind of cool. Uh, so one of my favorite trading quotes here, uh, by Bernard Baruch, I think that's how you pronounce his name, but if a speculator is correct half of the time, he is hitting a good average. Even being right three or four times out of ten should yield a person a fortune. If he has a sense to cut his losses quickly in the ventures where he is wrong. Um, so for me, how I relate to that is, right, I mean, if you're going to just bet that the market is going to go up or down, you theoretically have a 50-50 shot. Uh, I think the market's going up. Well, there's really only two ways the market can go up or down. I mean, I guess it could move sideways, but sideways can be good when you're trading binary options because you're, as long as your expiration, it's sideways above your expiration, you're going to get a 100% payout. Okay, so traditional options, like I said, guys, for me, I mean, I've traded them before. My biggest daily gains and losses have come from traditional options. And for me, I, I kind of wanted to move away from that and just focus on price action. So I've moved away from trading options and focus, or traditional options and focus on binaries and futures because uh, I don't want to worry about the delta, the gamma, the theta, the volatility versus historical volatility. That for me creates a lot of emotions and a lot of things that I need to calculate when I'm taking a trade that I don't necessarily want to think about. I want to simplify my trading as much as possible so I can, you know, really, I mean, people make trading way too complicated. They trade products they don't understand, which leads them to be unsuccessful in the markets they venture after. So for those of you who have tried traditional options trading and you find a struggle with doing all that, I really encourage you, you know, whether or not you like my presentation, I encourage you to look into what I'm going to go over because, like I said, I started this account with $250. I mean, if you're trading, you most likely got $250 to risk, and if you don't, you shouldn't be trading. Um, and that's really the truth of it. So that was the cool thing about when I started getting into this. I just said, hey, well, let me figure this out because I know how to trade futures, and I have all my setups. Well, can I apply those setups to binary options? And that's exactly what I did. Um, so I'll skip this slide because I kind of already went over that. So I have six setups that I've created all right, and all of my setups are defined. And, and for me, that's really, really crucial. So one of those setups I'm gonna share with you guys today, it's called a charge trade. By defining my setups, I know what I'm looking for before the day starts. And by keeping, by just focusing on six of them, I, you know, I don't use lagging indicators. I don't use like some kind of generated symbol. I use price setups and they're visual. I have them printed out and I have them all named. Uh, the first one I'm gonna talk about is gonna be the charge trade. Now this, is, this occurs on trending markets, um, whether it be up or down. 
Now the trigger is, now this is where you guys want to get your pen and paper out and actually write this out because this is the example I came to show you guys here today. The trigger is on the third, the third close of the 15 minute bar, so 45 minutes into the day. When I talked about, hey, you just need 45 minutes to know if this trade is going to set up, and at the end of that third 15 minute bar, you say yes or no. So we're looking for three 15 minute bars. Either all of them are need to be red or green. So that's the second thing you're looking for. We're, th we're, three, we're 45 minutes into the trading day from the open, the NICE. Are they all red? Are they all green? And you want, it, you want there to be a gap. So gap up or down doesn't matter, followed by three red or green bars. Then you're looking for a 50% retracement. I know the previous speaker was talking about Fibonacci sequences. I use those a lot in my setups as well, uh, but they're pretty clearly defined in terms of how I use them. Because for me, you just can't draw a low to a high and then assume it's going to pull back and work, right? You have to have some criteria set around that to know when is it going to work, when are the high probability setups, and when should I just you know, let the trade pass without me. So that's what I've done here. Um, and then once I've figured out, okay, the trade's set up, my entry's at 50% retracement, the next step is determining what strikes you want to buy in Nadex according to um, the setup. So in Nadex, in this specific trade instance, I will actually go and you know, spread my risk amongst two different expirations, one being at the end of the day and the other being anywhere from 45 minutes to two hours out, depending on what my options are for the strike crisis I choose. So by spreading my options out, if the first trade doesn't work, I'm either I'm breaking even or on the second trade, even making money. Um, so I like to do that because they're time-based options the case and just because you're right in two hours doesn't mean you're going to be right at the end of the day. So by spreading out my risk, I find that to be more favorable. Um, so this is that exact setup here. And I'm going to go to a live chart and I'll show you guys one that the last time I actually traded this. This is a setup that's not going to occur every day. It's actually, it probably occurs about once every 10 days, but that's good enough for me because once every 10 days, I mean, if I have six of these setups, I'm getting them to occur every single day. This is just one specific. It's my favorite, so I decided to share it with you guys. But once again, here, this is an example. This is the ES uh, futures market, which is what I primarily trade. We have a one, two, three. So we have a gap up, one, two, three bars down, and then a 50% retracement pullback. So that's the trigger. We have the gap, three 50-minute bars to the downside, and you want this to trigger before 12 Central Standard Time. So I'm in Chicago, 12 Central Standard Time. Do you want to be buying or selling the closest Nadex strike to that 50% retracement? And the reason you look for the gap in the three bar uh, the three bar move off the open is because those usually indicate a continuation move. Anytime there's an opening drive in one direction or the other, there's usually some follow through. So I'll buy the closest strike to that about an hour to two hours out, whatever the, the options are, depending on what time the trade trades, and then once at the end of the day. So here's an example of that trade. Um, we'll go to another example, same thing except to the upside. We have a gap up one, two, three bars higher, 50% retracement pullback buy the closest strike to that, anticipate a move higher, and all you, I don't care if it moves 20 points higher, like in this case where it moved 20 points higher or two points higher, it just has to be higher than the strike I'm buying. So if in this specific case, say I was buying 1902 as a 50% retracement, I'm gonna buy a 1904. I don't wanna be aggressive with it, I just want the best probability. Buy that 1904, go two hours out, we close above, end of the day, we close above. So this is a trade setup I'll use all the time. Same situation to the downside, three red bars off the open, 50% retracement pullback. This one's in the Russell, however, um, so you can use them in all the indices. I just specifically like to focus on the S&P 500 because that's where I will trade my futures. Um, so this is me down at the... The CME, uh, so like I said guys, choose a strike closest to the 50% end of day in the hourly strike. Now let me pull up here a live chart. And I want to show you guys actually the last time I took this trade. So this is Thinkorswim for any of you who use Thinkorswim. Um, so going back to the day for anyone who wants to pull up a chart, the 26th of February is the last time this trade actually triggered for me. So it was a while ago, but that's fine because I have six setups and this just is one of them. And uh, uh, you have the three bar move off the open, one, two, three, right? And then what you're looking for after that is you're looking for that 50% retracement, okay? So 1955 is that level. Look to buy the closest strike to that, go an hour to two hours out, and then as well as at the end of the day. So you can see price. This is a great example of 
why I like binary options after traditional options. My risk is defined at the open and uh, I don't really have, or at the opening of the trade and I don't really have to worry about the exit. I just need to know that it's gonna be below that level. So this move dips in, but that's fine because as it comes back down, I'm confident I have two strikes out. My stop on this trade is gonna be when it takes out the highs of the day. So I will take myself out of out of this trade if we take out the highs of the day because then I know price isn't going to continue. I'm just looking for to get filled, so that's why I'm gonna be more aggressive with that 50%. It dips in, and this trade I actually made uh, about $600 on, which was you know pretty good for just a click of the button, but that's the last time I had used this specific charge trade that I'm going over in the slideshow, was the 26th of February. Go back to the slideshow here. All right, so I got about 15 more minutes left with you guys. Hopefully you're liking it so far. Um, so really guys, why traders fail? I wanna talk about that um, because you know we've all been there. I mean, when I first started trading, it was actually, uh, it was actually probably one of the most difficult things I had taken on in, in my personal life at the time. And I was really lucky to f find a professional trader uh, who had worked, you know, worked at, his, at a hedge fund trader to study under. I mean, that was definitely a benefit. I don't know if I would have continued to do that had I not seen the success he had achieved. Um, so traders don't trade products, they trade products they don't necessarily understand. Um, and, and that's really why a lot of traders fail. I mean, I started off, like I said, I started off trading options with a $1,000 account uh, on Scott Trade, believe it or not. I mean, I don't know if anybody uses that anymore. Um, but I ended up actually just blowing out that account. I didn't understand exactly what I was doing. I didn't understand all of the complications that come with standardized options. Uh, they also, not knowing the exact mask, max risk and the exact max reward for me creates psychological confusion. So when I'm entering a, you know, a, a traditional options position, by timing the exit and looking for, you know, may, whether it be a FIB target or you know, a previous port of support that was lost to exit the trade, that to me always makes trading another thing I have to worry about, I have to worry about the exit. With binary options, I'm not as concerned about the exit because I'm gonna get the same amount of money for my trade, whether it's two points above or two points, or 20 points above. So it's not the psychological effect that I have of like really focusing on that exit trade. Uh, also, traders, don't have any defined setups. Like I said, guys, I have six clearly defined setups. I gave you an example of one of those setups here today, and I keep that on my desk. So you can hear this piece of paper here. It's literally a piece of paper that I've printed out. I keep it on my desk, um, and you know, even though I've been trading these setups for years, I always like to reference it and say, hey, does that is that the right setup? Is that what I'm looking for? So I keep it on my desk, and you guys will be able to get that too. Um, this piece of, it's just really like, I call it like a cheat sheet. Uh, I don't know the last time anybody you guys took a test, but you know you get that cheat sheet. We just like get to look over at your notes. It's literally just six photos of the setups I've clearly defined, as well as what I'm looking for in those setups. Uh, also, I think a lot of traders when they first start, they look for those momentum indicator that end all be all. Um, you know whether it's a MACD or anything. And I'm not I'm not against indicators by any means, but I don't use them. I think price is king and a trade off price. Uh, also, I think newer traders react to price rather than planning a trade. By defining setups, clearly pointing them out and knowing what they look like, you're able to plan a trade. You're able to define. Uh, you're not chasing price anymore. You're not chasing price down. You're not chasing price up. And I also think most newer traders lack technical skills because they haven't properly been taught them. Uh, I see some people you know, sometimes make fun of technical analysis and I really laugh because I know they don't understand it. I make a living off technical analysis. I know it works. So I want to talk about this Nadex course I have developed. Um, and it, it comes with the six best trading setups I use to trade in at Nadex. So what I actually do in this course is I have recorded videos, and I am a visual learner, I love videos. Uh, how many of you guys got a stack of trading books on your desk? or in your, you know, whether it's in your house, whatever, how many of you guys have gone through tons of trading books? Because I can tell you what, I've read over 20. 
and none of them, I would say, have ever really helped me make any money. I'm more of a visual learner, and that's how I've designed this course. Um, so one of the best things about this Nadex course is it's all video recorded lessons. In fact, I'm actually taking live trades. I record those live trades, talk about what I'm seeing in reference to the setups I teach, and then actually place the trade. So I'm not just here teaching, guys. I'm actually trading real money and I show that um, so you know there's no there's no there's no behind the curtain Wizard of Oz thing going on now Nadex is the only CFTC regulated binary options exchange I remember when I had first come across binary options people were like oh binary options are like shady I'm like oh well, why this one and, and I figured out why because the first binary options broker I found uh, told me to send the money to Cyprus, and I was like, "Well, that's strange." Well, Nadex is actually U.S. based. They're CBO backed. They're out of. They're uh, CFTC regulated, and they're completely legitimate. So no problems there. Um, so what I have here today is I have my course for sale, which is the six best trading setups that I use with Nadex. All right, and it's a lifetime access deal. Yeah, hundreds of books. Yeah, Tony, I'm, I understand that right there, uh, and. You're going to learn how to use FIBS the right way. You're going to get access to my Major League Trading Glossary. Uh, the, web, the website is mltnadex.com. We'll go over that here soon. Uh, it is the um, only way to trade binary options, I think, is just by doing this and focusing on the setups that you know are clearly defined. Uh, you can see I've obviously had incredible success. Sess, here's a little screenshot of some some PL seven thousand dollar days. Uh, on, on, I started with two hundred fifty dollars. So for those of you guys who have been trading for a long time and are looking for a new product, something you've never tried before, with a very small, I mean it's a small risk, guys. I started my account with two hundred fifty dollars. Not saying you know you 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 need to do what I did or anything, but I really think as traders, your job is to go out and find and look for new products that work for you and you know. Traders, we have to fail our way to success, which is unlike any other profession. And so I encourage you to go out and learn um, learn the setups I have to teach. Check out my trading room. You guys, this is normally a – so it's – first of all, the, the best six setups I normally sell for $197. You're going to get those. You're going to get my trade grids. My trade grids are normally a $200 value. So that's all my customization I have uh, using my toss with custom codes on the back end as well. And you – get lifetime membership access. This is a one-time fee, and I'm recording and adding content to this course every, so I, I trade for a living, so every week I'm taking trades in ADEX, recording those trades and uploading them into this course book so you can actually continue to learn as the market learns. I'm taking trades, I'm placing them. MLTNADEX.com is going to be is going to be the site you're going to want to go to to get this course. It's $97, and like I said, I actually, Reed had to twist my arm to bring me in and tell me, hey, offer my people the best price you have, and I said, all right, fine, I'll do it. I'll do it this one time only, 97 bucks, guys. It's literally probably the, I think it's probably going to be the cheapest course you've taken for the most amount of value you're going to get, and you know, you've seen my success. I have all those videos recorded, and as soon as you sign up, I'm going to send over those videos with the educational material. You can watch me take that $250 in a $16,000 in 13 days. I don't know of any other product I could have possibly done that with. I guarantee if I would have tried it with traditional options, I would have lost all of my money um, <laughs> because you just can't get as quick of a return as you can with Nadex. It's just not possible. Um, are you going to teach any of the setups here? Yeah, I actually taught one of the setups, uh, so I'm not sure if you're in you were in when I taught it, but you can watch the recording if you didn't. That setup is called the charge trade. I have five other setups, the halfway back, the bully, the leg start. It doesn't have to be Nadex that you trade. You can, uh, like I said, I'm a I'm a futures trader, and I have a trading room um, that you'll actually get an option to sign up for seven bucks if you take this course if for a month. I trade lot, you know, I trade futures every day, and that's why I applied Nadex to it. I said, well, I like I like the way the S and P moves. I trade futures all day. What I don't like traditional options. What product can I add to increase my earning potential? And the answer for me, I finally found out, you know, late last year was Nadex. Amron, you're going to have to watch that. So 
You get, like I said, guys, go to mltnadex.com right now. I'm going to leave this link up for a little bit, um, and it's going to be a $97 course. Like I said, guys, this is like a $2,200 value. It is a lifetime course, and it's one-time fee. Uh, so what I'm going to ask you to do once you've signed up for my, my course is you're going to print out the six setups, the ones I keep on my piece of paper, right? You're going to print them out once you receive the course, and I'm going to ask you to plan your trades using the setups that I'm teaching you. Also, keep a journal. Talk about, write down the setups you're taking, track the results you're getting. You can also trade on a demo account, obviously, when you first begin. I definitely encourage that. And remember, you're only as good as your last trade. So to make sure you're practicing before you're putting your money to risk. And like I said, you can start off with a small amount of money, just like I did. You know, And Nadex could actually become your... Uh, maybe your bread basket. I'm not sure, but uh, for me, it's my second most profitable instrument behind the ES. Uh, and questions I always ask myself before entering every trade, and just some advice that I would like to give you guys as well. Just ask, what is the trend? Where is major support and resistance? Where is minor support and resistance? These are simple things that I go over every single day in my trade room as I'm trading. I trade live on the screen. Uh, probably one of the only or one of the very few educators out there that actually do that. Uh, so mltnadex.com, feel free to sign up. And then for seven more bucks, you're going to get my trade room for 30 days where you get to see me trade live futures every single day. Can you provide the link in here? Yes, I can. Let me just type it in here. mltnadex.com. So I trade I trade using a stage five broker. I use Thinkorswim for my charting, stage five for my execution, my dome's right on the screen every single day. And uh, Nadex I just traded through their typical web platform. So is Nadex the only brokerage that trades these? No, they're not the only brokerage that trades these. They're the only CFTC regulated one that's in the United States. Um, but we do have other brokers we work with for uh, you know foreign clients. Sometimes MLT Nadex doesn't accept and Nadex doesn't accept um, clients out in Canada. So if you have a problem, we actually work with a different broker out of Canada. So Ameritrade, Nadex is going to, if, if you have an Ameritrade as your broker, that's fine for uh, charting, but you're going to, I mean, signing up with Nadex, it's pretty similar, simple to opening up a traditional, uh, you know, account anywhere. I mean, they're going to ask for your social security and everything like that. So yeah, it's it's $2,000 value for 97 bucks. Exactly, Roy. It's $2,000 for 97 bucks. I mean, <laughs> We don't give out free hats, but I am giving out a free hat, and the gentleman, I hope he's still here, uh, who answered this the most correctly, or your guess that I made, 16,000, I think his name is Mike, I'm trying to go back and look, here we go, oh no, Tony Speranza, that was the first guy that guessed. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type in our support email here, guys, support at MajorLeagueTrading.com, and then Tony, you can send me that email if you're still in here. <laughs> Recount. I'll tell you what, guys. If you sign up for the Nadex course and you want a hat, I'll get you a hat. How about that? <laughs> Must be present to win. That's right. If you want a hat and you sign up for the course and you sign up for the trial for my trade room, I'll get you a hat. Done deal. Done deal. If, I, if I'm in Australia, which platform should we use? We're going to go over that. Um, that's all in the course. How, what broker can we sign up with the trade ES? Um, that's also in the course. You need at least $3,500 to start trading ES if, if that's what you're looking for. But I mean, it, it all depends on the broker. All right, guys, like I said, this link is only going to be up for just a little bit, and uh, it's literally the best deal. I mean, Reed had to twist my arm to offer this. I came in, he said, hey, man, you're going to pitch. Um, so come in with a good deal, and that's what I'm here for. I really think you guys will enjoy this product just as much as I have. I was very, um, you know, kind of questioning this whole Nadex thing when I first started. I was like, well, you know what? I trade the ES. 
I, I know, you know, it seems a lot easier to profit from traditional options, so I'm going to try it out, and I was just blown away with how successful I currently personally was with it. Obviously, trading involves, you know, risk of loss, but the thing is, I put $250 in the account, I don't really care that if I lose that $250, I'm a trader, you know, I got to, that's my risk, I'm here. Um, Nadex, yes, you can trade from outside the U.S., it, it's country by country. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, just if you if you get the course and then get get the trade room, it's just an extra seven bucks for thirty months. Like I said, guys, I trade live on a screen. Nobody else is doing that. So for any of you guys who haven't had a trading educator trade live in front of you on the screen, I really encourage you to take this course and sign up because, like I did, I traded. I studied under a hedge fund manager uh, trader. I was able to watch him trade and understand. I really think watching, not traders just teach you. Anybody can teach a setup, right? We're all, you know, anybody can teach a setup, but how many people are going to trade it in front of you? And that's really the huge benefit you're going to get um, from joining my program. So, you, you know, sign up for that trial. It's just an extra seven bucks for 30 days, and uh, you'll, you'll get your hat. Can you provide me a link for any of your past videos? Feel, you're more than welcome to check out our website or even look up our YouTube Major League Trading, and you'll be able to see a ton of content there. But you know, for 97 bucks, I mean, what what's that? That's like a bad trade. I mean, for for for, for me, I mean that you know that's I can make make I mean I can make or lose that in seconds. So. Uh, will you tr trade stocks to live or just ES? I just trade the ES. The ES is my most profitable instrument. I don't need to focus on stocks. Uh, I, th I think a lot of traders, um, when they first start trading, they don't know why the benefits of the ES. So that's a whole other thing I can go on and on about. But focusing on one product, guys, I don't want to be a rumor chaser. I don't want to be looking up the news stories of every stock knowing if the CEO got fired, their earnings. I don't really care about all that. I'm a price level trader. For me, the most predictable thing is patterns, support and resistance, and that's what I focus on. MLTNADEX.com is where you order the course, absolutely. I'm going to leave this link up for a bit, and then you guys are going to have the option to join. I believe I have uh, three more minutes here, so hopefully we'll finish up any questions. Does anybody else need our support email address or um, any other questions regarding the course? The YM, yeah, I mean, these setups are going to work in the YM. I focus on the ES because I just want to trade one product, guys. I mean, every trader I personally know that trades for his own account that makes more than $10 million a year, and this is just the ones I know. I'm not, obviously, there's other people out there. They trade their primary product is the ES, and that's just from my experience. I mean, not saying there's other people who don't do that, but... So as soon as you buy the MLT Nadex course, you're going to have an option to upgrade for the $7 trial. If you hate the ES, it's probably because you haven't been taught how to trade it like a professional. But I understand. I, I hated it when I first started trading it too. But the ES is a professional instrument, and uh, you got to be really good at trading. The ES is the S&P futures market, S&P 500. You trade the YM very successfully. That's awesome. That's awesome. Futures are the best, hands down, in my opinion. What time is the trading room open all day? So 8, 8 Central Standard Time, I'll open up the trading room um, and I'll do a morning video. I'll share my levels with you guys, which is kind of cool, and uh, share the video in the room. The trade room goes all day. Uh, 3 o'clock, it closes. Sometimes I'll take off half a Friday or whatever, um, but, you know, it's a stand it's standard. Uh, MLTNADEX.com. So it, it, it's $97. The reason the, the website shows 97, if you go to my website, you're going to have to pay more. You have to go to the specific link, mltnadex.com. Yeah, it's pretty easy to set up an account. I mean, there's nothing, you know, they're not going to require you to be making more, you know, like a million dollars or something. It's, it's like setting up a bank account. I mean, it's pretty simple. I <laughs> send you Blackhawks tickets. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I might have to charge you more for those. Let's be honest. I, I'm a nice guy, and I'm willing to, uh, you know, come in here with a great deal, but not giving you any Blackhawks tickets, Bob. You're being a little greedy. You can earn them. All right, guys, MLTNADICS.com, like I said, not going to get this uh, up. Not going to leave this up for long. Yep, you're going to get the login info for the trading room. Everything's going to be sent to your email.
And if you have any questions, support at MajorLeagueTrading.com. Please give us some time to answer those because I'm sure we're getting a lot of people signing up for this because this is my best course and the best deal I offer on this course. So we'll get back to you for sure. Um, and I really hope you guys get an opportunity to come join me uh, in my trade room and uh, appreciate all you guys for your time today. And uh, everybody, enjoy their weekend. I know um, they were talking about it's really hot in Florida. Well, in Chicago, it's just getting nice out St. Patty's Day. So i got to get a, go out and have some fun. But today just died the river green.